welcome to another review video. Today I would like to take a look at the recently released Spiral Linux spin of Debian 12 Bookworm. It takes the base Debian platform and adds some very useful options and technologies. Let's take a look at it now. All right, welcome to Spiral Linux. Live system options here, failsafe mode and two different kernels, the LTS and the backported kernel. Uh, 6.4. Let's just select the default option, which is the first one, which should select the uh, long-term uh, stable kernel. And we stand by for the KDE Plasma desktop environment to load, and there it is. So here we have the Calamaris-based install Spiral Linux uh, app, but before we do that, uh, let me open up a console and take a look and see how Calamares has been configured. To do that, we need to go to the Etsy Calamares uh, modules directory. And if we do an ls, you can see all the configuration files as to how Calamares has been configured. Let's check the filesystemtable.conf. And the uh, mount options for ButterFS, which is the default, includes space cache equals version 2, which is redundant because modern uh, Linux kernels include that already, and compress equals Z standard for transparent compression, which is great and I claim re reduces the number of writes in your solid state drive. Mount.conf uh, will show us the uh, ButterFS subvolume layout for snapper and bootable snapshots. So that's what uh, uh, Calamaris will set up automatically when we install the system. All right, let's close the console and let's launch the installation program, Calamaris installer for Spiral Linux 12.23.10.08. Didn't detect my time zone, but that's okay. I'm in Pacific time zone, uh, North America. Keyboard model is correctly detected, get based on my time zone, presumably. We're going to erase our VDA 128 gig uh, target disk, and the defaults are no swap and ButterFS. Those are the defaults for Spiral Linux. ZRAM swap will be automatically enabled. My name is Steven, account name is Steven. I'll name this computer Spiral-1 and I'll give myself a nice password and type it twice to be safe against typos. So here's the summary. Uh, two partitions, a GPT partition, uh, 300 megs, megabytes or mebibytes. It's a bit small for multi-kernel uh, session. I usually do one gig, but that's okay for this demo. And the second root partition is ButterFS, of course, with all the subvolumes as mentioned earlier. We'll do a quick install. It's that simple to install Debian 12, or it can be this simple with Calamares. And it's done. So let's restart the system. Restart now and click done. Here we go. This is our freshly installed system. And it's booting by default the backported kernel 6.4. So it has presumably better hardware support. Let me put in my password. All right. And it's that simple, folks. Let me go to the settings. Let me switch to dark mode. Sorry, folks, um, I need dark mode for my eyes, my accessibility requirements. And let's fix the screen resolution to 1080p and increase the font size. So hopefully you can read what I'm doing here. Hit apply, keep. So the fonts are still tiny. So let me uh, restart the system. Make sure all the settings take. I 
and SDDM, SD Display Manager. Okay, we log in, and uh, that looks a little better. Let me open up the uh, console here. Let's make the font size bigger and full screen. Now, uh, let me check how the uh, swap, the ZRAM, compressed RAM uh, swap has been configured. Looks like it's done automatically. Brilliant, saves me a lot of work. Let's check the OS release. As you can see, we're running pretty standard uh, Debian GNU uh, 12 bookworm, as expected. Uname-A shows we're running kernel 6.4, compiled for Debian 12, and that's a backported kernel. Very nice. Again, you have the LTS as an option. You just uninstall kernel 6.4 and just use LTS if you prefer. So uh, next, let's go to the software, uh, discover the software program and uh, it's fetching the updates, 14 updates found. If I click on settings, um, if you um, prefer snaps or want to have snaps enabled, you can install the uh, Discover Snap backend. But out of the box, uh, Spiral Linux has a flat hub configured already which I'm perfectly fine with. Here we've got a uh, fast track uh, repository enabled for Bookworm, backport staging enabled. Let me make that full screen here. So main contrib and non-free. Also the standard Bookworm repo, security, uh, the updates of course, and the regular backports including the non-free firmware. Very good. All pre-configured, folks. So, uh, we got 14 updates. Let's quickly update the system by clicking Update Install, Update All, rather. Enter our password and let it, everything be updated. And there we go. Good. So now everything supposedly is up to date. So let's close Discover and uh, let's sudo reboot the freshly updated system. Enter my pass sudo password. And there we go. Notice we already have snapshots because we did an apt uh, update or upgrade rather of the system. Uh, the description is short, it just says apt. We can fix that uh, in a moment, but uh, we already have bootable snapshots. So let's boot the default uh, main option, the, the, the main uh, read-write boot. And uh, let's open up the uh, console or terminal. It's already full screen, but let me make the uh, a little bigger and check with sudo butterfs subvolume list slash enter the password here uh, the uh, existing or current subvolumes on the uh, roots of volume. As you can see, we have snapshot one and snapshot two already. If you do a snapper ls, here we go pre and post uh, the apt update. That's the uh, system update that we just did. Uh, let's fix the description. Let's go into Utilities, Snapper GUI front end. Let's make that full screen. Let's open up uh, the pre and post. Let's double click the description and let's update the description to what we've done so we don't get confused. So apt update for pre and apt update for post. Very good. Next, let's create a uh, manual snapshot of our freshly updated system. And we'll call this new snapshot with, uh, with a description, star, 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 updated, base, 
install star 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 make sure it stands out in our list of snapshots All right, this is an important one we want to hang on to notice there's no number cleanup so this one is permanent until we manually delete the snapshot which is what we want so snapper ls so apt update the description is more descriptive uh, it still has a number cleanup so automatic cleanups uh, will take care of pre and post as configured in snapper and we've got the uh, uh, user steven uh, single snapshot with uh, no cleanup automatic cleanup and the correct description cool so let's test snapper a little bit more here we won't go too far in this video let's install neofetch and let's do another snapper ls so it created a new pre post snapshot pair four and five of course um it didn't uh provide us with the complete description for those snapshots that we just created with the uh, installation of neofetch uh, i'm told or some say that this will be uh, fixed in the future. But for now, I recommend uh, you just put in the proper descriptions for all your snapshots so you don't get confused later. Cool. So we just do apt install neofetch for snapshots four and five. So let's do a snapper ls. As you can see, uh, snapshots four and five are more descriptive. And they have a number cleanup. Uh, which which indicates that it'll go away after a certain period as configured so um, neofetch shows we're running uh, kde plasma 5.27.5 which is as of this video the latest stable release of plasma kde let's clear the uh, terminal and let's sudo snapper undo change and then four dot dot five and that should uninstall neofetch so let's check that yep neofetch is now gone seven files deleted five files modified so let's do uh sudo snapper delete four and five because we don't need them anymore and then if you do snapper ls you can see that uh four and five are now gone very good so the snapper functionality works let's check the configuration for root home is also configured we'll just check root here in the interests of brevity so number cleanup is enabled yes so those number uh, snapshots will go away timeline cleanup is enabled but timeline create the hourly snapshot uh, is not enabled and that's fine so you can see how out of the box spiral linux configures snapper moving right along let's check for failed uh services with systemctl dash dash failed unfortunately we have a failed service it's probably not too important but if i had more time today i would probably dive in with you guys and how to fix this set console font and key map we're not in the console or basically a graphical uh, display manager boot, so that really wasn't bother us very much, but you know, it's something to fix. Let's check the Spiral Linux uh, website. And it's the last thing we do today. So Spiral Linux lives on GitHub, I believe, HTTPS colon slash slash spiralinux.github.io. And there's the uh, Spiral Linux main website. Welcome to Spiral Linux. Here you've got a nice list of Spiral Linux features. Easily upgradable, optimal power management, TLP pre-installed, virtual box support available out of the box, uh, flat pack enabled, font rendering, ZRAM swap, etc., etc. Here, why another distro justification. And here are the optional ISOs, or ISO options rather, you can download. 
Cinnamon, XFCE, Gnome, Plasma, what we're running now, Mate, Budgie, LXQT, and uh, also the Builder if you want to create your own uh, desktop spin. Uh, finally, uh, documentation. It goes through how to create a bootable USB stick. Uh, goes into updating and upgrading Spiral Linux, as you can see. Updates within the stable release lifecycle. Upgrading to a major new Debian stable release. All the details. A lot of this applies equally to a vanilla Debian 12 install, by the way. So very useful documentation, very generous of the developer. It saves us a lot of time and effort. It even describes uh, how to um, how to be aware that the GUI tool has a uh, significant unhandled bug that prevents it from enabling the Debian security updates repository. That is unfortunate, um, but fixable. And it describes how to do that. And then it describes how to uh, switch from Debian stable to testing or unstable, like Debian SID, with uh, ButterFS and snapshots auto-configured, um, I'm much more confident in running the rolling Debian SID than I would be if I just did the standard ext4 old-fashioned file system. But they do remind us to, that this should only be used with extra care by experienced users, because it's more ble much more bleeding edge. Even talks about how to work with ButterFS snapshots and rollbacks, so if you have a disaster recovery that you need to do, you can uh, say if it's unbootable, you can use the Spiral Linux snapshot shot section of the Grub boot menu at the bottom uh, to boot into a working snapshot, say if you got the configuration failure, and then run snapper-rollback script with the uh, snapshot number uh, to recover your system, to roll back and make it bootable again. Uh, also, we have here the frequently asked questions. So some issues you might be able to, might be running into rather. And there we go. This was a quick breeze through of uh, Spiral Linux. As you can see, Spiral Linux very generously does a lot of configuration work for you using the super simple Calamares installer. The bootable snapshot option makes disaster recovery much easier. I believe it's a really neat and well-crafted spin and may be worthy of your consideration. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please smash the like button and subscribe to help support this channel. Until next time, as always, Stay safe and have lots of fun. Mm -hmm.